this is one of our boom mics. We have three of them. This one right here is the Rode. And uh, as you might imagine, it comes in a blimp. Do not take out the microphone from the blimp. It, uh, the, the chances of damaging it go up exponentially. Inside this case, you'll also find a pair of headphones to test what kind of uh, sound you're getting. Also, a windsock. And the way a windsock works is you can open it up. and put it on the blimp like so. After you've got the windsock on, you might want to flip down the uh, handle. And the way you do that is that there's a little lever right here that you can tighten, and now it won't move. And you can loosen up, and then it, the handle moves freely. I'm just going to close that back up, put that back. Inside this case, you'll also find two XLR cables. Next XLR cable is a very heavy duty, professional grade uh, audio cable. And you will also find a windsock brush that you can also use on your hair. And uh, this kind of thing just helps uh, cover the sound a little bit better. And uh, if you use the windsock, please, please, please comb it down and then put it back so that uh, it's you know, easier for the next person. And uh, you've also got, uh, this wouldn't be called a boom mic if it didn't have a boom pole, which you can find right here. You have to ask for this specifically. This boom pole comes with a built-in XLR cable. Most of them don't. And you'll have to use one of these XLR cables to connect it to whatever audio device that you're trying to get to. This is a pretty simple construction. You just take the pole and you twist it onto, a, uh, onto the threads at the bottom here. You take the XLR cable, either it's a part of the boom pole or separately, and you can attach it to the XLR female end at the uh, male end at the bottom here as well.